Hello everyone, this is a natural look that I adapted from one of my favorite beauty YouTubers, Catherine Vidal. So thank you Catherine for posting this look. I start off with a clean moisturized face and I'm using Baby Skin Pore Eraser by Maybelline. to give me a nice smooth palette on my face and I'm also going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange and that helps to eliminate the dark areas underneath my eyes and in other areas on my face dark spots my beauty blender is used to try to blend that color down now you do not see my foundation application, but I am obviously wearing foundation. My foundation is L'Oreal Infallible, and I use the MAC, the MAC formula. For my highlighter, I'm also using, I'm using LA Pro Conceal again. This time the color is Medium Bisque. And I'm also using some of that underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my chin, and also on my forehead. My beauty blender is used again to try to smooth down that highlight. This is not my normal shade of highlighter. Normally I do use Fawn. So yes, I do agree that this highlighter is too bright for my too bright for my complexion. <laughs> but somehow it all worked out in the end, so I have to be thankful for that. And I also use by LA Girl Pro Concealer, I use um, as a contour the shade Mahogany. And I'm using that in my the hollows of my cheeks and also in my hairline and down the sides of my nose. This darker color really did help to add some color back into my face and try to balance out the highlighter. Blending, blending, blending. That was definitely key. 
<laughs> in this in this look for me a lot of blending my blender my beauty blender is definitely damp and I'm setting my highlight with Ben Nye banana powder I always use Ben Nye banana powder to set my highlight And I am, I did put a little bit of, I did put a little bit of the Pro Conceal on my eyelids and I'm blending it away there. I'm going to add some more later. I'm using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Dark. And yes, I love the surface to my skin that it provides. It makes my skin look really smooth. And to set my contour, CoverGirl Cream Ebony Bronzer. Love the color. And it's easy to work with too. Sometimes I think I might try to use that instead of the Pro Conceal. Just only use the powder, the pressed powder. But it does a good job of setting the liquid um, contour in case you're going that route. And as I mentioned, I did add a little more of the Pro Conceal and in, in medium bisque to my eyelid to prepare for my to prepare for that shadow. My eyeliner there is by Elf, so that's an Elf eyeliner. And there was the Morphe 350 making a very quick appearance. The first color, as you can see, is kind of like a cinnamon color, a dark cinnamon. And I'm adding it there to my to the crease of my eye. But I think that it can also be used as a transition color. So it looks like I'm putting it on my lid, all over my lid, but I'm focusing on the crease. And that's the second color that I use. This shade went directly onto my the crease of my eye. And then the next shade, going back in to darken my crease a little bit more. I really had to layer the colors a little because I felt that the Pro Conceal, it didn't really help, it didn't really serve too well as, uh, you know, the color to, to make that shadow pop as much as I wanted. But this gold color it is so pretty, it's definitely bomb, I love it. And that color I added on my lid. On the lips of my eyes per Catherine's recommendation in her tutorial but in addition I made I made a little addition I added this dark color to my outer V the outer V of my eye just because I like that look I like that kind of you know, smoky look. So I added a, the darker color to the outer V. My idea. <laughs> Just experimenting a little. And for lashes, I use Demi Wispies by Ardell. And that's my lash glue, which is Sassy Glue. Sassy Lash Glue. I'm using the I'm using an eyelash curler to prepare my eyes for the lashes. Although I didn't apply my lashes on camera or I, or I edited it out. <laughs> now my mascara it has a very long name. The name is going to be below in the more info box, but it's Voluminous Superstar X Fiber.
there it is again I'm going to add the, uh, my mascara to the bottom of my lashes that's why I'm bringing it out again I love this look because it's basically a no makeup makeup look but at the same time it does look like you know you did something to go out and this is the highlighter that I'm using it is it is called chrome by covergirl So it's the Master Chrome Highlighter that I'm adding onto my cheekbones. It gives you just enough glow, but I try not to go too crazy with it. But you, you can definitely see the highlight. In fact, I think it's a little a tad too shiny, maybe for me. I don't know. So I'm, I am going to I am going to try to experiment with some other highlighters. So stay tuned for those videos in the future. However, I do love the way the Master Chrome looks on my brow bone. So it's a keeper even if it's just for the brow bone. For my gloss, I'm using Wet n Wild. That's right, Wet n Wild from back in the day. I'm using Wet n Wild gloss from Rose Gold. So the shade is like a, it's like a, a pinky gold color, rose gold. And it's very inexpensive and I really do love this color. It makes a great everyday color. And here I'm adding my infallible press powder. This is basically a must for me because my skin is oily. The powder pretty much does wonders to keep oil away. The combination of this powder and Ben Nye is really great. Okay, and there you have it, my finished look. If not all drugstore products, very affordable. It is a very affordable look. And please don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for watching.